All right, so the theory behind a vamp. The official formula kind of makeup for a vamp is called a 2 7 5 7 1. Okay, so what that means is you're taking the second note of your root, right? So at the end of at the end of that is the one. Your root is your one because it's the first note in the scale. And the scale counts up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the eight is the same as the one because you start over again. Whatever. So if you count up to the second note, one, two, that's your two. And while the notes in the scale are numbered, so are the chords as you go up. So in the key of C, you can play all the same notes as chords. You kind of build around the one note and, and um, kind of flesh it out. So when you have a 2-7, that means you're going to make your D note is going to become a D7 chord. Okay, so normally it's not a 7, but because it's a 2-7, you add the 7 in there and it's a D7 chord. Okay, so your root is the C or whatever key you're in, but for this example, it's just C. So C is your root, and if you count up, you go to D, two, seven, second chord becomes the seventh, so you're playing D7. Five, seven, you count up to the fifth note in the scale. One, two, three, four, five. It's a G. So if we take the G and turn it into a G7 chord, that's what we end up with. And then, finally, is the root, which is just back to the one, the first note in the scale, which is C. So, two seven, five seven, and then the one. Okay, so if you wanted to say, take this idea into a different key, you could do that because instead of just talking in notes, you know that it's two seven, five seven, one, and that applies to any key, any scale. So if we were to move things up to the key of G, we'd be playing a G scale. Okay, so now you count up from the G because now the G is your root chord. Okay, so if you count up to the two, A is your second note, or up here, A is your second note. So if you make that a seventh chord, you end up with A7. And then your five, one, two, three, four, five, you end up with a D. So you make the D a seven, like this, or the Hawaiian style one like this, which is middle finger on the top string, second fret, and the third finger on the second fret of the E string. This is the one I like to use. It sounds good with slot key players for some reason or another. It's actually not a D seven, but it sounds close enough to fool most people. So A seven is your two seven, D7 is your 5-7, and then your root is G. So if you listen, it's the same sound, the same distance between each chord. You're just starting from a different place, and that different place is the G, whereas we started in C on the first example. So A7, D7, G. So it's got the same sound. You're just in a different key. You could take the same idea and play it in F just for kicks. So now you're playing an F scale. Yeah, my string's a little flat, but that's okay. So in F now, if you count up from F up to the second note, it's G. So you make G a seventh, so G7. And then if you count up to the fifth, one, two, three, four, five, you end up with C, C7, because we're using the five, seven. And then you go to the one, which is the root, which is F. So that's the theory behind it. It doesn't really pertain to just learning the really basics and knowing, oh, hey, that's a C vamp. But if you want to try and figure out a vamp, or if you're in a bind and you need to be able to think, hmm, what is a B Hawaiian vamp? Then you know, okay, so if I know a B scale, then I can figure out that two is a seven, so that's C7. And the five, one, two, three, four, five, is an F sharp, so F sharp seven, so C seven, F sharp seven, B. See, I just figured that out right now. I don't, I don't know the B vamp off the top of my head, but now I do, because that's the theory behind it. So ponder that, and until next time, aloha.